Hey there, this is Will from Yugen Bliss, The Road to Happiness. I just dropped my daughter off from, to school this morning, and uh, I was in pretty good thought. And I was thinking, it's pretty amazing how this world that we live in is manipulated by subliminal messaging. And uh, what I mean by that is, is you know, we bring our kids to school every day and uh, we leave them in other people's hands, right? Are we, re- are we really leaving them in, with good people's hands? Or are we leaving them in hands the people to manipulate them? And why I'm asking this is, is because uh, I live in a small town and there's a lot of families and I consider these families broken families and what I mean by broken families is there are children that are being raised by either one or the other of their family members not by both so meaning that a child that's growing up in my area more than likely is growing up with either a mother or a father or maybe they're being raised by their grandparents if they're lucky in some cases. So what I'm saying is, basically, the stu- the, the, the teachers at our schools now are basically the, 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 the teachers and your parents. And I really don't agree with that. You know, and it's, it's, it's funny because at my daughter's school, they don't want me to be involved in anything school-related because I don't have the same mindset as them. And I'm like uh, the thorny rose bush that uh, they don't like. They have to cut them down because they don't like to be pricked, if you know what I mean. They don't like to be put in their place. They don't like to hear facts. And so I'm not, I'm not included into any of the, the school functions. Um, it's been like that for quite a while. Uh, probably since 2012. And... That's okay with me. The only thing I'm not okay with is my last daughter has two more years there. And I'm contemplating whether I want to keep her there or not. And it's sad because she wants to stay there and she wants to be there. But it's not because of the the teachers. It's because of the friends and the friendship she's built over the last two years. So it's pretty sad for someone to have to be put in this spot. But it is what it is, right guys? Um, We still have to look out for the better interest of our future, and our future is our children. And I love my my children very dearly, and I try to practice the opposite of what she's being taught in school most of the time, because what she's being taught in school is not relating to life itself. You know, so we can't follow the line, because there's not a line for every single one, because everyone's different. Every line should be different from every single individual soul. We have to understand that school systems do not like that because it's harder to keep individual souls in line. So they have to keep them all in the same line. Think about that. They all have to do the same thing in in unison. When they go and wait for lunch, they have to go wait in line. What is that teaching your kids once they leave high school? Do they have to obey rules and laws and what other people say? Not necessarily. All you have to really do after you get out of high school and live your life is try to be kind and loving. That's all you have to do is be be respectful and know how to live on your own. Don't expect anyone to show you or give you anything. Go out and look for it yourself. And that's one thing they don't want to teach you in school. They want to make sure that you're spoon-fed every single thing that you're taught. Which is wrong because everything that we need to be taught has already been taught. It's our jobs to go out there and practice and make mistakes and learn from our mistakes. Practice how to build a fire. Practice on cooking on an outside grill once in a while. Practice cooking on an open fire once in a while. Practice fishing. It may not be something you enjoy doing, but someday you may have to rely on that. 
You may have to fish for a living. You know, learn how learn practices and how to make healthy water. If you have bad water, how do you how do you change how do you change bad water? You find other ways to, to fix that water so it's drinkable. One thing is to boil it to a very high temperature. And it's drinkable. So practice these things. It's always good to practice self-reliance and not depending on the school systems. I love you all, you beautiful souls, and thank you for hearing me out. I appreciate this.